This video is to remind you to spend time now revising your practicals. Remember, Section B is very important. It's worth 15% and you want that 15%. So remember, last year they asked you to give an account or to detail how you carried out a particular practical step by step. And that might appear again for another practical. So the best thing to do is to set aside some time just to go over the practicals, do the exam questions, look over the details involved in carrying out each of the practicals, watch the videos and use your textbook and then also check and see which ones have not appeared in a long time. Maybe they're due in appearance, but remember all of them can be re-examined. So don't forget your ecology because the quantitative or how you carried out a quantitative analysis of a plant or an animal could come up. So don't forget to study capture, recapture, and there's a calculation involved in that, percentage frequency and percentage cover. You can almost bank on an enzyme practical being asked or some question on one of those enzyme practicals being asked. And often the pH temperature and denaturation practicals are where students lose marks because they get comfortable, think they know it, but they've left out important details. The practicals relating to biomolecules and food, you could bank on one of those or a short question on one of those practicals and often students get mixed up with the reagents, make sure you know them and which test requires heat. The photosynthesis practical, I would make sure this year I know everything about this practical. What is the formula for light intensity? What does the graph look like? What goes on the x-axis and the y-axis and can I discuss it? I would say it would be worth your while learning in detail how to give an account of the heart dissection and the practical on measuring the effect of exercise on your heart rate. So there are two practicals where you used yeast. One was growing leaf yeast and the second was the production of alcohol by yeast. I would make sure that I know each of these practicals really well and that I know the chapter on fungi very well also. I would say it's really worth your while revising all the plant practicals. And if you look at the IAA experiment, that has the potential to give you a very tricky question. How did you carry out the cereal dilution? What were the precautions you took? What did the graph look like? What did the results tell you? So all of that could appear on your exam paper and anything to do with the plant practicals. Germination hasn't appeared in a very long time either. And don't forget the preparation of the dicot stem. And osmosis. You can't leave out osmosis. Due in appearance and there could be a good question on that topic also. Remember to be fully prepared for section B. Revise all of the practicals. Don't leave any out. Make sure you can give an account in steps of how you carried out the practicals. Draw diagrams and summarise them. The very best of luck with all of that revision.